Just give a little walk around uh, of this. I like to start here just saying that hey, this is the TL2560E. So this is the electric version of the 2560 the, with the internal combustion engine. Same specs, same width, height, lift capacities, all of that. So as far as per, uh, uh, performance, uh, you have you have all that same the same pieces. It's the same look. So anyone that has been running the internal combustion engine unit uh, with this is very familiar with how this works. Uh, this is the E version, so we have our batteries here through this window. Uh, this is a uh, 30, 30 kilowatt hour battery setup. This is actively cooled. This is a high voltage, uh, high voltage application. And uh, so we have this little window here. This is obviously just for the show, but uh, we wanted to show people that, hey, this is, uh, this is kind of our setup and what it actually does look like. So this unit being the, the E version, obviously we've got the, the, the big pieces where we have the, the NOx gas, we have the carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide that we're getting rid of, trying to get rid of a lot of the, those moving parts that come with that industrial in our internal combustion engine. And uh, and taking a lot of that a lot of that uh, advantage, but still not sacrificing performance. We really want to uh, want to uh, to push that that this is not sacrificing performance. So if I move around the machine a little bit, this camera right here is a camera of the right hand side. Now this is in tandem with our transparent OLED that we'll see inside of the inside of the cab. So I just wanted to point this out that we have this camera on the right hand side of the machine and the reason that is important is because we have this lift arm that when it is in a certain position it is blocking your view of that right hand side of that machine. So I have an operator that gets blinded a bit by that lift arm and that's not great because we don't want that operator hitting any, any, uh, any objects or any one. And we want to make sure that that operator is aware of things that are on that right hand side of the machine when you're operating at all times. The next thing that I'll show you is this camera. So a uh, typical backup camera uh, setting right here, but this is not only a backup camera, this is a smart backup camera. So this is able to actually see people, identify people, know if people, how far they are away, know if something is a person or not, and be able to actually tie into the machine and do machine controls depending on if that person is close, farther, is closing towards the machine or moving away from the machine and being able to actually pick that out. And you'll see that on the transparent OLED also. So if we move around the machine into the cab area, we will talk a little bit about this transparent OLED. And we'll just open this up to get a little better view. So this OLED is a, is a transparent setup that you can see through as an operator. And this is a, is a prototype also, so this isn't, isn't out there, but it is bonded to the glass. And what it is, is a large format, transparent, touch capable, and tintable. So just to show you one thing, I can, I can minimize any, any data on there, or I can bring as much data up as I want. I can pick some different levels of tinting so I can just have it start to tint down. If I'm outside in a very light or a, a high, high light, uh, like a, a very light day and I can tint that down so I can see the content on it easier. But if I'm say inside and I don't have a lot of light, I can start making this lighter and lighter and lighter and take that tint away so that I have uh, the ability to see out that right hand side. Being able to being able to bring up any information into the operator's viewpoint. So the, 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 the adage that I say is that what does the operator need to see, when do they need to see it, and where do they need to see it. So we can configure this to, to move things around on the screen. We also can go into things like bringing that up into a large screen. So having the operator be able to vary that in depending on what application they're in, that's some of the key to this is being able to have that variability. We talked a little bit about that, that camera that is on the back of the machine that is sensing people and knowing where people are at or what is a person. So as you see people walking by the back side of the machine, you will actually see this thing picking them out and then it'll put a square around them in a certain color. So it says, is that person very close? Is that person farther away? Or is that person in a safe area? 
and giving all that information to the operator uh, on this right hand side in this nice large format we think is a competitive advantage that can make our operators achieve more with our equipment. Great, thank you so much. Yes. Really good.